Okay, you guys, we are on our way to go pick up some boards and supplies to make a really cute arch backdrop. So these are four by eight boards and we are basically just looking for the best looking one. We're anything that has the lines and stuff, we're just tossing to the side and trying to find a really clean looking board. And we want two of these. Did this break or was this already broken, your windshield? Oh no, it was. Just in case you're wondering, <laughs> you can fit nine feet of wood in a Chevy Traverse. <laughs> okay, here are the very technical plans for how I made these backdrops, but I do feel like the visual helps you like imagine it a little bit better. So right here, the seven, six, five, three, and two is the height of each of the boards. Um, in feet. So basically I bought two um, four by eight boards um, and then this one here I did the the 24 inch string and drew the arch like you see in the video and on this one I actually had them cut it exactly in half at Home Depot before I even left and then these are the arches the half arches and that's how I got four boards out of this one four arches out of this one board and this one had one arch out of the one board which is the main middle one okay here is our four by eight sanded plywood and I'm about to uh, draw the arch and the way I'm gonna do that is I just measured a piece of string that was 24 inches I decided it should be 24 inches because this is four feet wide and I want half of that so that's why it's 24 inches two feet and then I went and I measured how tall I wanted it to be we decided we want it to be seven feet tall and then I found the middle at seven feet and put my pen there now I can arch out like this and it's a perfect arch Hopefully, let's give it a try. Okay, the arch is drawn. You can see where I started, right there in the center. You can do out from there. Okay, these are the exact same thing as that, only I had it cut down to be two by eight. So just cut it straight down the center when I was at Home Depot. And this is gonna become four arches out of these two boards. So let's get to it. Okay, the arches are now drawn on both of these boards. So let me explain how I did it. So first I started off with this one, which is the biggest arch out of the four. And I decided that I wanted this one to be uh, 71 inches. So I measured from the bottom up to 71 inches. Then I placed the string here on the straight edge this time instead of the center. Still a 24 inch string and drew from there. That's how I did the half arch. Then this one I didn't even measure. I just took up as much space as I could to use the, ex the excess of the wood. And then over here, I decided that I wanted this one to be 66. Yes, 66 inches. So I started from the bottom, measured to 66 inches, put the pen here, um, put the string along the straight edge and did the half arch. Same thing here. I didn't even measure it. I just tried to take up a bunch of the excess. So that's how I'm doing those four. Next up, cut. Okay, everything is cut. 
So now I'm gonna sand every edge, make it super smooth, and then I'll be done for the night. So you can kind of see here that the middle stands that are holding on to the main board are actually a little bit longer. And you may also be able to realize that the outside ones only have one stand on them. And that is because they are sitting in the same stand as the one in the middle. So the middle stands actually have two notches on them to hold two boards at once. The reason that I do this is so that you don't have all these stands bumping into each other when you're trying to hand up multiple boards. This also makes it so that your boards can be double-sided. You can have white on the front, pink on the back, or pink on the front and blue on the back. Just gives you a lot of options for future parties or renting it out. So I am making four two-foot boards and two one foot boards. The one foot boards just have one notch in them. And you can see I'm cutting them here with a circular saw. And then the two foot boards have two notches in them each that are three inches apart from each other. So you'll see me do that here. Okay, the way I did this one is I measured where half was and I knew that I wanted these to be three inches apart from each other. So here's half, measured one and a half inches to this mark, one and a half inches to this mark, and then from there, measured half an inch. And that's how I got this board with two slots. You guys, this is how it turned out. Well, at least three of the boards. The other two we didn't use here, but pretty dang cute if I may say so myself.